but I'm like somebody who goes through a buffet and puts too much on the plate. I called Aaron in here, had him on about two minutes. Uh, Luke Radowski on, founder of We Are Change, great patriot. He's reported for some large national news outlets like RT and others. He's on with us right now. He's been in and out of the week-long demonstrations uh, there in New York. There were a bunch of arrests. Some say 80, some say 100, some say 20. I don't know. I've got a bunch of articles about it. Uh, but I know you've been there off and on. Peaceful people trying to demonstrate. Nowhere in lower Manhattan is it allowed, just like China. But, oh, it's okay because we're America. And so you don't protest Wall Street. And the media is calling them communists. And certainly some of them are communists. But nobody's a bigger communist than Wall Street with their tens of trillions of bailout money stealing our cash. And Wall Street funding socialism to steal our money. So, yeah, there's some dumb commies on the ground protesting their bosses, yes. But I'm told, Luke, most of these people are in the fetters that really know what's going on. Luke Radowski, tell us what's happening. Most of these people are caring, loving Americans who want this system to end, screwing everybody over. Sadly, when all the action was going on yesterday, I was actually across uh, on the other side of town. But I ran to Union Square where all the arrests were happening. I actually got an interview with one of the people who survived. Uh, the police beatings and escaped those orange nets, those orange nets that the NYPD hasn't used ever since the Republican National Convention. And uh, the journalists were arrested. The women's hair were ripped out. I mean, people were pepper sprayed. And we got an interview with one of the survivors on our YouTube channel of everything that happened. And I was out there all day yesterday until 4 o'clock in the morning uh, by Liberty Plaza. The police had a huge presence encircling Liberty Plaza there. And they were like Indians just threatening and surrounding everybody in a menacing way. People are there are nonviolent, they're peaceful, and they told, they told the cops, look, if you're gonna arrest us, just put the cuffs on us. If you're gonna arrest us for peacefully walking down the street, which is draconian. But these cops just made it an issue to entrap everybody, pepper spray, grab them by their hair, slam them on the floor, and it's really ridiculous what's happening right now. So right now, what I hope to see is a large number of people who are gonna fight back, who are gonna, who are gonna come out to Liberty Plaza right now, and they're going to show people that we're not going to stand down. The more numbers we have, the better the situation is going to be out there, and they can't stop all of us. Well, what's amazing is, Luke, this was going on before you even came to Austin on Monday and Tuesday. You'd already filed video reports of demonstrations a week and a half ago, and they would block most of lower uh, you know, uh, Manhattan around Wall Street so you couldn't get into it. Now, uh, for over a week, they've been trying to stop any demonstrations anywhere, uh, and uh, our government criticized China for, for blocking protest. How can the New York police act like this? I know you've even gotten permits before. I've been with you when New York cops say, we don't care if you have a permit, you're not going to demonstrate. I mean, this is really a shameful situation. I mean, the NYPD is getting orders from high-level government officials to stop and quail this movement, this resistance. And that's why they're acting this way. Many officers, I mean, the people there are giving the officers coffee, water, uh, even even food. And they're telling them, you know, you are a part of that 99% who's being screwed over by the 1%. And we are here standing with you. Your pensions are going away. Sadly, that message has not been heard. And people are the So you go up and give the cop coffee board. and then they beat your head in and laugh at you. Well, don't worry. The cops are going to lose their pensions. And uh, they'll, they'll love it. Uh, gonna, it it'll all go to foreign off. banks. And that's what they want. And, and, and they want the dollar devalued, so? They're like, hey, I can beat your head in. Don't matter if Rothschild take my money. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous what's happening right now. There's some signs of good things happening. A police officer secretly letting some people uh, let go when other officers aren't watching. So not all police officers are that bad. But what we saw is the worst yesterday. And we're trying to show people, you know, this, this has to stop. And this, this uh, can only stop. If but Luke, just to confirm here. Luke Radowski on the ground in the middle of all this, off and on the last week and a half. Um, look, because they're reporting peaceful demonstrators are being drug off. Yeah. Grabbed by the hair, some even pepper sprayed. What I, what, you can see the videos online. Total draconian, total uh, police abuse of power with people who are just wanting to stand in the street, who want to just walk and get their message heard. Our message has not been heard by the corporate mainstream media, but now we're finally getting attention. So this is going to backfire on the NYPD because of their brutality, and I hope more people come out, more people hear about what's happening and make a stand, because the bigger the numbers, the safer we are. I learned this in Barcelona when they were doing similar movements. Whenever there was a low turnout, the police would come and beat the crap out of everybody and kick everybody out. And we've got word that they're planning on doing this soon in New York City, but they can't get rid of thousands of people uh, if we're all there at once. 
peacefully stand. Okay, so this is going to happen right now. All info warriors in the New York area. Where do they converge again, Luke? Liberty Plaza by City Hall, right by, right in between Wall Street. We're all there. You can't. What do you space. think you're going to stand at the Liberty Plaza? What do you think this is, America? Let's beat the people up at the Liberty Plaza. I hope to see as many people out there as I can. There's so many amazing people from all walks of life. And I have to say, this is not even a protest, but it's a movement. It's a culture. It's a new way of life of people coming together, helping each other, living side by side, feeding each other, clothing each other. Very un-American to demonstrate. I can't believe you're doing this, Luke. Luke Radowski, uh, fire out the websites for folks to find out more about We Are Change. YouTube.com forward slash We Are Change, and we're going to be following new reports about what's happening in Occupy Wall Street as it happens. Well done, my friend. Appreciate you. We'll talk to you tomorrow more on this. Okay, I got to get to at least 10 of these calls or so. Uh, everybody's been patiently uh, holding. Uh, the very same banksters are imploding Europe. Notice each bailout. They only need more money after that. The things only get worse. Six weeks to save the euro. Chancellor's warning after another day of financial turmoil. All over Europe, they're running around uh, not going along with this. No matter how many pensions you get rid of or how much government you cut, you're not ever going to get rid of the derivatives. The bankers set this up to hold the world hostage. And the same thing's happening here. When we come out of break, I'm giving each caller one minute to make their piece. I'm moving on. I will get to Barry, TJ, Jim, Benjamin, Jerry, Will, Kathy, Brian on the other side. You don't need me to tell you that humanity is in a deep crisis. Everyone can feel it. We know a tectonic struggle is now taking place between the forces of freedom and those who love darkness, bondage, and enslavement. Yes, my friends, evil is rising. But take heart. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Recently, New World Order operative Hillary Clinton admitted they're losing the info war. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. The globalists are scared. They've overreached. The future of the info war is in your hands. Join PrisonPlanet.tv. Download the thousands of special video reports, ebooks, and more, and get them out to everyone you know. Continue to spread the word about the broadcast on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and every other globalist propaganda platform. We are going to use their system against them. The info war now goes into high gear.